Lesson 1. Overview of Statistics Statistics is the science of collecting and organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make decisions. So what does this mean? Statistic calls is basically data analysis. So sometimes you may collect data and then you may organize, then you can analyze it. And based on that, you can also interpret the data result, such as, let's think about you collect data about mean height of BMCC male students, and then you may get 30 different data set. That means you are collecting data. And when you actually analyze data, it may be better you organize either ascending order or descending order. Then you will actually organize data so that you can analyze it easily. So, after all, let's say you got maybe mean height of BMC's male student is like a 69 inches, and there will be your data set interpretation. Okay? So, Statistic is basically whole uh, factor of collecting and organizing and analyzing and interpreting data in order to make a decision. Sometimes you may use population, but mostly we use using sample. Then what are the population and sample? Population is the collection of all outcomes responses, measurements, or count that are of interest. Which means, population means everything basically. If you aim to research about BMCC students, then your population will be BMCC students. Among them, you may limit it, maybe male student or female student, then your population will be only male student or female students. Somehow, you may take or maybe New York City employees, then New York City employees will be your population. However, mostly it is not possible to collect population data, so you may just uh, take part of their population that we just call sample. So, let's say you want to collect BMCC student as a population data, but because you cannot interview or take survey for entire population set, you may only collect 30 samples or 50 samples over 100 samples out of the population. That's the sample. Now, I want to give you a question. Does sample always describe population accurately? You may think about this, pause this video, and then after you think some concepts or answer, just um, restart this video and listen this lecture. Unfortunately, sample always uh, does describe population accurately. The reason is, sample is part of the population, so what kind of sample you select, you know, that result can be different. Look at the diagram, please. Let's say this is the population set. So, when you collect the sample, you know, sometimes you may select sample around the range here. Sometimes here. Sometimes here. Sometimes here. So, there are many different possibilities to take a sample here, right? If you select maybe right amount of sample 
which can describe population accurately. Oh my god, you are very lucky and then your data is very accurate. But most likely, sample doesn't describe population accurately. Identifying data sets. So these two examples, using that, we want to describe what is the population and what is the sample. So number one, in a recent survey, 1,700 A adults in the U.S. were asked if they think global warming is a problem that requires immediate government action. 939 of the adults said yes. Identify the population and the sample. What do you think? What do you think it is the population? And then, what is this sample? Please pause this video for a second and think about that before restarting this video. In this case, population must be all adults in the U.S. Then, what's the sample? It will be 1,708 adults will be the sample. Whenever we describe population, we don't limit number of data. So, all adults in U.S., there will be our population, and 1708, the number will be our sample. Then you may wonder, then what is this number? So, that's the result of the sample size. Okay. Number two, the U.S. Department of Energy conducts weekly surveys of approximately 800 gasoline stations to determine the average price per gallon of regular gasoline. On February 12, 2007, the average price was $2.24 per gallon. Identify the population and the sample. Like number one, the population will be all the gasoline stations. Then what's the sample? Yes, 800. That will be your sample. Okay? 